where I'm beating a dead horse. I tweeted Greg Berlanti, who is now running with both DC Universe and HBO Max to create the Green Lantern show and a bunch of other stuff. But he's also just the, he's going to be the producer for DC content on HBO Max. Now that's going to include anything they do on that streaming service. So what I did here was I tweeted Greg Berlanti. I said here, hey, I got a show idea for you. Ace the Bat Hound. And so if you guys don't know who Ace the Bat Hound is, Ace the Bat Hound is Batman's dog. Ace the Bat Hound has been depicted as a bunch of different kinds of dogs. I believe he was uh, originally a German Shepherd. He's been depicted as a Great Dane. He's been de- uh, predict. Uh, I'm sorry, depicted as a English Bull Mastiff, if I'm not mistaken. English Bull Mastiff was that the one? I can't remember. Shep- yeah, German Shepherd dog here. And let me see if I can find the other one. It's not hugely important, but uh, yeah, like Great Dane here. It's Great Dane, by the way, is what Scooby Doo is, which is super ironic. And that's that's how they portrayed him on Batman Beyond. So I don't know if you guys see this. In New 52, uh, you can see that Damian Wayne was given a dog that he named Titus. He was going to name him Ace. Um, see, like he says, he considered naming the dog Ace. Damian rejects the dog at first, but he eventually bonds with him. That was just how they portrayed him in New 52. It's kind of a cameo, really. Not so much directly Ace the Bat Hound. But they did Ace the Bat Hound in DC uh, Rebirth, and they had him in uh, the TV show Batman Beyond as a great dame named Ace the Bat Hound, or Ace, and he was shown to have been owned by Bruce Wayne in his older age, as opposed to the original version, which was a German Shepherd owned by Batman during his youth. So that to me, uh, and when I say youth, I mean just like early 20s, probably 30 maybe. So that's that's approximately how old he was. Now, what I think would be really fun, I don't want just, a, I don't want like um, a dog in the sense of like if Jim Carrey's Grinch and Max who pulled the sleigh. Like I don't want it necessarily like that. What I mean is, I'll read it to you. So it says here, hey Greg, I got a show idea for you. Ace the Bat Hound. It's basically a one man dog show or a one man slash dog show voiced by, and I, I selected the person I want to voice because in my head, this is how it sounds. I picked Patrick Warburton. If you guys don't know who Patrick Warburton is, he's this guy. He also voiced Kronk in The Emperor's New Groove, which is like, he goes like, uh, he goes, all right, the poison, the poison chosen, chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison, that poison. And then he's was like, yes, that poison. He's, he's that guy. So um, if you guys also know, he's Joe from Family Guy. So the guy in the wheelchair. Oh, hey, Peter. How's it going? You know, that guy. So he he sounds like that. And I think he has the perfect voice. He was also in the Netflix, uh, a series of unfortunate events. And for me, uh, when I saw that show, he was he played Lemony Snicket, who is the detective who who does the uh, fourth wall breaking narrative. So the, the kids will be in some crazy traumatic scene where they're abducted or something. And then he'll step in front of the camera or like in front. Yeah. And then he'll narrate to you, the audience, to me. And he'll say, oh, well, the kids, they didn't know what was coming for them. But what you can know is what's coming around the corner. And then it'll like turn to the next scene or something. He'll, he'll give like the gist of, you know, this person knew this person and they knew them and there was no way the kids could have known, but now, you know, you know, and then he'll like, he'll say something kind of clever like that. And, um, but Patrick Warburton, I think would be the perfect voice for Ace the Bat Hound. I want this show. Look, check this out. I'm just going to read it to you and then we'll talk about it. It says, Pat, uh, voiced by Patrick Warburton. It follows Ace the Bat Hound as he sniffs out crime. I meant that as a pun, literally, but also as a pun and takes down baddies. It can't rec- it can recognize its silliness, but the show is done as a serious crime investigation show. So I want I, it can break the fourth wall kind of Deadpool stylish or as uh, the show did in like Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes um, with Robert Downey Jr. or done in the way that Sherlock is done on BBC where it's like it's an actual crime investigation show where you, the viewer, don't know the end of the story. You're watching these crimes unfold and you're watching Ace or Sherlock in that case solve the mystery. That's what I want to see. And um, But it can be a dog. Have it actually be a dog. And then you have Patrick Warburton voice the detective dog. 
Um, and then it says, I, I continued on because I made a, a spelling error here. I said, it can't recognize its own silliness. I meant it can recognize its own silliness. So here's what I say. I meant it can recognize its own silliness, fourth wall breaking and being a dog type jokes with Patty Warbucks voice, perfect for dry and funny fourth wall breaking as he did in a series of unfortunate events. For kicks, you could even get David Spade to voice the main baddie who played Cusco in The Emperor's New Groove, which I think would be great. Um, and it says likely a cat, meaning David Spade, David Spade, the main villain, could play a cat. Doesn't have to be like Joker or Joker's cat, but it could be some cat in Gotham. You know what I mean? And then uh, the last thing I said was to both of them, I would pay good money to watch a criminal investigation type show about Batman's dog starring Patrick Warburton. Good money. And that I would. I If they put that on HBO Max, I'm buying HBO Max. I would love to see, because that's what like DC superhero high sounds like to me. It sounds like something that just... It takes the superhero concepts we know and love and creates something new with it without having to step on the history that is Batman, without having to step on those types of things. It makes something that is fun and refreshing and different. You know what I mean? And surprisingly, Detective Comics hasn't put out a lot of detective shows. So to me, I think it feels about time. It's high time for that, I think. And so the interesting I want the interesting thing I want to point out to you guys here is this. Only one person liked my thing. Only one person liked these tweets. And uh, that's fine and dandy and all. But I wanted to show you guys the one person that liked them is Patrick Warburton. <laughs> so Patrick Warburton liked all three of my tweets. He liked the actual tweet and then he liked the two comments I left to continue the tweet. Um, and so no word on, uh, no word on, you know, like Greg Berlanti liking it or anything, but Patrick Warburton seems to like it. So, Hey, I think that's a step in the right direction. So let me know what you guys think about my pitch. This is something silly. It's not something that HBO or DC has confirmed. It's not something, but do you guys want to see more detective shows? Do you guys want to see more DC shows that actually do detective work where the, the episodes are actually about solving crimes the, the shows are actually about solving the mystery something like sherlock something like true detective something something like columbo or monk or or something where they actually have to solve a crime to me those are some of my favorite shows of all time i would really like to see a dc show done in that same spirit and it would be a lot of fun and i think it's appropriate it's detective comics so that being said what do you guys think about my pitch for Ace the Bat Hound on HBO Max or DC streaming service, whatever you guys prefer? Let me know down in the comments and I cannot wait to hear from you any longer. So this video has gone on quite a while. I will go ahead and cut it from here, but tell me your thoughts down below. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please turn on notifications so that you could be alerted right away, right away when I go live next time. That way you won't miss a single thing. And if you guys haven't noticed directly below me right now, tpublic.com forward slash user forward slash the stuff of legend show is my merchandise website it is linked below so you don't have to remember any of that garbage you can just click the link below there's over 180 designs forget the note down here where it says 130 it's actually 180 now i've uploaded a bunch of those uh designs up there for you a lot of power rangers designs batman joker superman supergirl spider-man designs all kinds of designs you guys can get down with find your favorite actors find your favorite voice actors who play these these awesome epic roles and get your merch today there's t-shirts there's mugs stickers pins magnets there's phone and laptop cases wall art that you can get posters canvases all kinds of tote bags whatever you need we got them t-shirts tanks um crew neck sweaters long sleeve tees you got it. Lots and lots of merch. So do me a favor. If you want to support the channel, all the free ways are like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you want to support me financially, please go to the link in the description and get your merch today. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.